to just get things started, where did it begin for, for you? Ooh, where did it begin? Um, you know, when I look back at my life too, I'm just super humbled and blessed as to how far I've come. Um, I think anyone that knows me would, would definitely tell you that I'm very, very humble. Um, I am from Nigeria. I was born there. We migrated over here when I was at the age of six. And I, we grew up, we moved right into New York, moved to the Bronx. So I'm a Bronx girl. Um, and we lived in the Bronx my entire childhood. I mean, the Bronx is really what I know and what I remember. And it wasn't until after when I was going to college, I'm a graduate of Howard University School of Business, HU. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that was my first time living somewhere outside of the Bronx. You know, and I think even now it's so funny because my family is still very much in New York, in the Bronx. And I mean, this is us. I think that a lot of times it, what would give away that I'm from somewhere else is because of my name. It's Ezene. And Ezene is actually an Igbo name. That means good person, good mother, good person. So have a lot of um, to live forward to and, 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 a, lame, and a name to, to live up to. And, and, you know, when we were growing up, it was very much a village. Like it was everyone takes care of everyone um, everyone had to take care of all the children. The children had to take care of each other. My mom stayed in Nigeria. My dad was never in the picture. My mom stayed in Nigeria with her new husband and I moved here with her siblings. And when I think back at it, they were in their 20s and raising their niece, essentially, you know, and um, I was with my uncle. So it was like this little girl being raised by her uncle. So never wondered about like, a, I always felt like I had plenty of father figures. And really the goal was to bring esteem and excellence to my family mm -hmm. and to us. And, you know, being Nigerian too, there's certain expectations that they have of you where, you know, you come from a place where opportunity is not given to everyone and everyone is trying to find their push. And if I told myself, if I had the uh, ability to be here, I am going to do everything in my power in order to be successful. And as I'm being successful, I'm always going to give back and I'm always going to be influential in whatever seat that I have. And, and really that's, I feel like that's my story. That's my purpose. I do things with intention. I do things very purposefully. Um, and I try to really just be the best me that I can because, you know, life is short and you just never know when your day is up. Like I told you, I was looking forward to having you on the show and um, just hearing you from the Bronx. That is 100 percent my backyard. You know, it, it, it's just something about people from the Bronx that, that strikes a chord with me. And in particular, this is why this series was created and why I asked everyone their background story. The Bronx it is, it was, it's the poorest borough in New York City. Yeah. People in the Bronx don't have much, yeah. but there's always that sense of community. And I love to find people who made it out of such impoverished conditions because truth be told, there are South Bronxes all over the globe. Yeah. And if somebody can listen to your story Hear how well-spoken you are. Hear how you worked yourself from the South Bronx, went on to Howard University, and then made and are doing your thing currently in corporate America. I don't care what community you're in around the United States. You can do it. Yeah, you really can. You, you are living proof. You can do yeah. it. Yeah. No, you really, you really can. And I, and I really hope that people look at people like me and see that you can push forward because I didn't come from a space where, you know, you have that father or that mother or relative that's connecting you with a CEO to get a job or, um, you know, you're traveling the world and getting all these experts. No, we, I, I am 
around the word girl. Like I am your girl next door. You know, we were just trying to make it. We, you know, and if I even think about, I know when we were talking before, if I even think about the high school that I went to, I say that, I'm like, girl, why did you go to that high school? Like, <laughs> it, it wasn't like a target school. It wasn't a, pro- I went to a public school. I am a product of public school education. And so it really shows you that you can come from not the most sexiest environment and you can still push forward, you know, I, and it really what I did is one, I told myself that I have to create a legacy for my kids and for the next generation behind me and my nieces and my nephews, for them to also see that you can, you can do it. And, you know, too, Sean, the thing is when you, when we came here X amount of years ago, being Nigerian and being an immigrant wasn't a cool thing to be either. Right. Right. I was constantly discriminated against, picked on, Um, you know, I was young, so I had an accent, but I, it kind of went away relatively quickly. But if you came into our household, we were very much Nigerian. We were very much Igbo. Uh, And, you know, and when you hear like my guardians and my family speak, you hear it. And, and, you know, it was hard navigating and trying to find your voice and who you were in the mix of what it is to be a black American, you know, and that wasn't an easy thing to kind of get through. And it's just thinking about all those things of like navigating financial aid and, um, you know, parent teacher conference and transportation, all those things you had to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And that's what I told myself. I was like, I didn't come here to be a failure. I didn't come here to be comfortable. Um, and that's really the way, X amount of years later, I still approach my life every day, like in whatever role that I'm, I'm in and whatever I'm doing, you, you always see me trying to figure out, OK, like, what am I doing? What's the next power move? You know, how am I bringing someone along with me? Because I want to show people you can come from the inner city. You can come from a public school. You can come from a third world country and you can still be very successful and very proud of where you come, where you are now. Well said, so well said. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.